हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नो इंजिन टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इंजिन मैकेनिक्स द इंजिन मैकेनिक्स इज अ ब्रांच ऑफ फिजिकल साइंस दैट कंसर्न्स विद द स्टेट ऑफ बॉडीज दैट आर अंडर द एक्शन ऑफ फोर्सेस लेट कंसीडर अ बॉडी ऑफ मास एम एंड द एक्शन ऑफ फोर्सेस एक्टिंग ऑन द बॉडी दैट मींस देयर फोर एक्शन ऑफ फोर्सेस एक्टिंग ऑन द बॉडी one is from left other is from right one is from top another is from bottom that means there are four force acting on the body that is two force acting on x axis having same magnitude f and opposite to each other and two forces acting on y axis of same magnitude opposite to each other so the first system we have seen that the forces along the x axis cancel out on each other and the force along y axis cancel so net force on the system is zero so this is the condition of equilibrium that means a net force on the body is zero then the body is in equilibrium state now let's assume that remove one force from the system now we have only three forces on the system and these two forces cancel each other and the resultant force on the body is the force that is acting on the positive y directions and because there is a resultant force in the body we can say the body is non equilibrium state that is the body is not in equilibrium and this is the condition of state we have studied in engineering mechanics now back to the definitions that is the study of state of body that means what type of body we are study in mechanics it is broadly classified rigid body mechanics and the another one deformable body mechanics Now, rigid body mechanics can be further classified as one is statics and the second one is dynamics. We mainly concentrated on rigid body mechanics. So what is statics and dynamics we are discussing the statics deals with the state of body that is either at rest or in a uniform velocity motion whereas dynamics is with the condition where there is a accelerated motion i'm sure you all must study about velocity and the acceleration by definition the velocity is the rate of change of displacement with respect to time what is the rate of change here or how can you define or how can you understand the rate of change let's consider you start to move from a point a along a straight line assume in the first second you cover a distance of 1 meter and the next second another 1 meter and the next second we travel 1 and 1 and 1 so consider first 4 second for example we could cover 4 meter for first 4 second and the figure we have seen 
in each second we have covered one second this is another second this is another second and this is another second so each second we cover one meter and the distance increases by one meter for the first second it is one meter this is two meter and the next again three meter and the next second and so on so the rate of change in a unique time the rate of change of distance in unit time is one meter or in every second the distance changes by one meter so that is the rate of change of distance is velocity and here the velocity is one meter per second now what is acceleration then by definition acceleration is the rate of change of velocity with respect to time again consider we start to move from a along a straight line and the first second you cover one meter and next second you cover two meter just make a picture more clear and again next second we cover three meter so even though the time interval remains same and you are covering distant different distance the first second the next second and next second we cover one two three meter so at the end of the set, third second you will be six meter away from origin here we have seen each second the distance changes between the first and second the distance changes from one to two the second from third that is two to three and the rate of increase is one one is two two increase two increase two three so the rate of change here one here so each second the velocity is increased by one meter so the rate of change here is one so here in this case a is equal to one meter per second square That's it. We define the mechanics as the branch of physics. That is the state so ranging mechanics define the state of bodies which is in equilibrium or non equilibrium condition that is which is or at rest or uniform body motion or accelerated motion.